Hey yo everyone, IK here and welcome back to the next episode of Scrap Mechanics Survival and finally the time has come, finally I will make a boat to see how big the world actually is and what is beyond the shoreline because that's the only thing which I haven't done yet and also as you see I painted my my base a little bit and did some updates but they are not they are not that significant to show but what is significant is that I made a third row for the farming so now my, my farm is three chest wide and actually at start I thought if I make it even bigger and bigger that like I'll have like ton of chests but the thing is like I don't really need that many chests like here in the front for collecting I have only like a one one pump and it goes with three chests and also in the back I don't really need to have like a each chest for each pump so right now I have like two but as you can see I still need the third one but what I do what I'll do I'll put like one chest full of seeds and three pumps because I think that will be more efficient and also it'll be lighter oh and yeah the tomatoes actually the reason why I'm growing tomatoes is because I added in the hideout in this farmer hideout thingy I added that by one tomato like by ten well basically by one tomato crate I get one component kit so I can upgrade some stuff and also for one broccoli a like broccoli crate I get two component kits so I don't think again I don't really think it's cheating because I didn't really expound in I had to do something and as I can't remember who I remember someone was saying that at the beginning like uh, before the release of survival mode in the farmer hideout there was option to buy those component kits so I just added what was what was supposed to be there already at the beginning right I feel like I'm talking too much let's go and make that boat Alright, and this is my speedboat. As you can see, I added some more details after I finished the basics. So basically what it does, what it, how it works is with A and D, I move the thruster to left and right, then I have one thruster at the bottom, just have extra power and also the fuel cell I have underneath, same as you can see the tier 3 metal. And actually I added these metals because in real life boats also have like, like at the bottom they have like the heavy I will wait just so it's more stable <laughs> and the boat is called sail. Not as sail as sailing but sail. <laughs> well that was a really bad joke but anyway so yeah I have like weights on the bottom so it's more stable and let me just sail around a bit and I have a lot of fuel so so I'm not running out because it really like use a lot and lot a, a lot and really fast. Meanwhile, yeah, while well, it's night, let me get some more fuel. And when the morning comes, let's go and sail to the end of the map and see what's there. Alright, and I decided to uh, deliver more tomatoes crates so I can get more component kits and I can upgrade the bottom one trusser on the boat to the max so it's more efficient because I was just like at night, I just fl like flying now, but just sailing around and the fuel run out really fast so I really need super efficient engines so that's why let's deliver more crates and as you can see this is the side of them maybe you haven't seen like uh, my like how how they look previously on my truck just compared for the size 
Well, I don't think it really like it's easy to see the size when they are not like the big ones next to it, but basically the point is they are smaller and that's a lot better. Right, and the last tomato box. I'm not really sure how many there is, but I would say around 40. Yeah, that's that's a lot of tomatoes. I might even make the box even smaller because they still feel they still feel quite big. Well, they're actually interesting to have like box really small, so you can just put like a container where they are falling out, and just so they pre-float, pre-falling into the container, and then you just deliver to the. I don't. Whoa! 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 No! 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 I really hope I will stand up. All right. Um, just how to get out now because I can't really lift the truck up. Um, all right, and let's see how many box were they because I believe I had zero tomatoes in here, so that was 45 boxes. I thought it will be around 40, but 45. That's a lot. So, anyways, so yeah, now you can see I can get component kits from the tomatoes and from the broccoli's two component kits. So let's buy all 45. And it should be all good. Alright, so we have a lot of fuel. We have component kits. I really hope 30 will be enough because I want to leave some here. Because I can't remember why, but I needed them. So let's head back to the water and upgrade the thrusters and go for a small journey once we kill out the, all of the bots. Actually, what's interesting that I could like test my boat in this like a pond here. So I really didn't have to go to the Ocean whenever I was like making changes or something. Alright, so now I have my bed with me. Not just sure where to place it. I guess maybe here in the front. Let's take this seat and place the bed here so I can just get a suntan when I'm in the open ocean. Alright. Um, oh, actually, we need to upgrade the thruster at the bottom. This one. Yeah, thanks God I took 30 with me. Alright, so now it should be more efficient and also faster. Alright, so I also grabbed some more spuds and a lot of tomatoes. Actually, don't have that much fuel. Say the one who have a lot of in inventory and here full and the bottom full. Anyway, so yeah, it's recording. So first, what I want to do, let's just go to the end of the map. Because I believe that's what everyone is curious, like how big the map actually is. I know most of you have actually, or like yours, how the map ends, have seen it on some video, but I haven't seen myself and to be experiencing to find it out. I just really hope that the water doesn't glitch anywhere because I was like just sailing around in the night and the water just disappeared. Like not like disappeared, but the water effect disappeared. And we already are one down. That's some interesting island. And actually what I found out is that there's another like a fallen ship somewhere. Like the spaceship somewhere on the edge of the map there's another one. So maybe there's like a store line or something for that. Oh my god, we already two lines off. Let's actually go to that. To that like a building or whatever. How you call it. Let's actually stop on this island and see what's in here. Maybe there's something special as it's really far. If not, then let's just kill everything. I'm actually curious if there's any hay boots on this island. Well, there is no reason there shouldn't be, but I'm just like curious. Hello, everyone home? Oh yeah, there is home. They are home. And component kit. Oh, and a chest. Alright, so there wasn't anything special inside here, so let's actually fill it up so we don't run out of fuel in mid-run. Yeah, that's really sad that those thrusters are super 
feel hungry in like a maxed out right so we went from there so I just head into an ocean I believe this is the first time when I, when I like look what come on game that's about it I can't go any further well at least it ends with water not with the fence but yeah I was really hoping to get further So it means that we won't like a waste a lot of fuel anymore because it's one chest one full like a tank with fuel in one direction and one full in another direction It's even like a wall here Um, how, how I could turn around? Um, because I can't go backwards Um, <laughs> well, that's a challenge. Can I maybe? Oh, yeah. I Whoa, no! I crushed my sign. Well, at least we can get home. Well, it really means that not everything is accessible. It could be even that. I what? Oh, I just hit that rock there. So it could be even that I can't, like, reach this building there. But it still feels really weird. Th right now it doesn't really feel like a scrap mechanic. We may in the water. Wow, what the hell was that? See, I found a glitch where the water ends. Wow, I don't know. Now I'm really lost. Maybe let's go back home. Wow, 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 wow. I now I have a submarine. Alright, and looks like we are back home right when the fuel run out, so let's fill up the last bit so I can get to the shore, and that's about it with the boat. Yeah, I was really hoping that the world would be bigger, like in GTA 5 or San Andreas. Actually, in San Andreas, not that big as well. So, now let's find my dock somewhere, I believe it is. Here, I think I'll add some like wood docks or something, so it's more presentable but yeah that's about it with the boat like i said there was a hopping for it to be something more major but yeah guys i believe that's all for this episode of scrap mechanic leave a like if you like it subscribe and i'll see you in our next video bye